Well, look, first of all, good morning. Thank you all for being here. Um, we had to change the time a little bit to accommodate some schedules, and I appreciate that. It's uh, it'll help get a few of us here that had other other appointments this like morning. Like commercial forum, yeah. you were at one, and I was at the other. One. She was at one with us. I think Chris is still coming. Yeah, uh, he was there. He was there. He said he's coming in on two wheels. He'll be here in a few minutes. But uh, so yeah, a lot of people for me. Maybe he had to get breakfast. I don't know. Well, we need well, breakfast. And thank you guys online for being here. It looks like we've got Erica too. We've got more people coming in. So um, we like the uh, the online option, and we're going to try to incorporate that every time we can. Uh, we are going to record this, so uh, if you want to go back and listen to it later or share it with somebody else that wasn't here today, uh, you'll be able to do that. And um, well, again, another great option we have. So here's how I, I want to start this off, and that is a sincere thank you. Thank you all for being here and participating. That means a lot. Uh, it makes Brittany and myself want to do things like this and, and do it more and do it better. Uh, so we, we love the participation. Um, uh, number two, thanks for last year. Maybe I should have said number one, thanks for last <laughs> year. We had a great year uh, as a commercial, uh, a commercial real estate company. And I want to point out that Cobalt Banker, when we started in 1908 or 9 in California after the earthquake, Cobalt Banker was a commercial real estate company. That's how that's where we were born. Uh, was in that earthquake uh, uh, aftermath, and they did commercial only for the first decade or two. Now we know how important there he is. What's happening? Right in time. Okay. Um, we know how important residential real estate is to Cobalt Banker. It is what we do as a as a big company right now. Uh, but commercial still plays a very important part. We are now the only real, I would say, complete company in the country. Nobody else has what we have. Others are trying to do it. You'll talk to the people at Keller Williams or Remax or some of these other companies that think they have a residential and a commercial company. They really don't. We have we have each and we're connected at the hip and our reliance on each other is proving to be what's really making us super strong right now. Last year, Coal Banker Realty and Coal Banker Commercial Realty combined had a 70% increase mm -hmm. in commercial sales year over year. On the residential only side, it was big. It was maybe a 20% increase, which is huge. I mean, any company, any corporation in the world that can grow 20% or more in a year is doing wonderful. Nationwide, we grew by 70% last wow. year. All right. Guess what we did in Florida? Have you heard this already? Have I told you? No. In Florida, we doubled that. We were 139%. Wow. Another way to say that is we were 200, it's 139% increase. We were 250 something percent more than the year before. We more than doubled our business year over year in commercial sales. <laughs> Phenomenal job, guys. I'm gonna tell you. And here's what's really evident. Now, the year before, it was fairly balanced between the commercial-only people and the RCCs. Now, to give you an idea, there's about 80 commercial-only people in the state, and there's about three or 400 RCCs in the state. But you would expect most of them are residential primary and doing some commercial on the side. 2020 was a fairly even sales. Last year, 2021, uh, RCC sold more commercial real estate in Florida than the CBC agents did. Huge increase on the RCC side last year, but combined, we more than doubled what we did the year before. So I'm so excited about that. And the RCCs, again, are, are playing a huge role in that. So when we do that, the company wants to, guess what they want to do? They want to encourage it. They want to maybe spend some more time or money, resources and whatnot to help you do even more. I mean, if it works, why not? Keep it going, right? So that's part of what we're doing here today is we know that we already have some tools that will work for you guys. We've created some things new that hopefully you didn't know about when you see it today. It'll be kind of new to you and we've created some new things for you because uh, we want you to do even more this year going forward. Um, so with that said, um, are we ready to jump into the PowerPoint? The yeah. yeah, so yes. big thanks for last year. Uh, the problem with last year is you got to you got to match it. You got to meet it or beat it this year. So we got to keep this thing rolling. OK, can someone on the team side tell me if they can see my screen just so you guys. It's showing RCC training right now, Brittany. 
Perfect. Thank you so much, sir. I'm going to mute uh, or not mute us. I'm going to minimize you guys, but if you guys need anything, just either put it in the chat. I'll take a peek at the chat or just um, raise your hand, please. And thank you. Here we go. All right. So our agenda today is we're going to talk about some education opportunities that you have now and some things that are upcoming. Um, and then I'm really going to turn it over to Brittany. Brittany's done a great job. And one of the things we've asked for and gotten uh, done this past year and, and so that we could kick this year off a little differently was mm -hmm. the use of some of the resources that the coal banker realty has. And that is our field marketing specialist and our education people and things like that. So um, Brittany has, has dedicated time. She enjoys doing this commercial work. I think she told me she did. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if she really does or not. But I do. I do. Maybe lying to me. <laughs> um, but she acts like she does. Anyway, she's done a great job putting this presentation together. I'll let you know this is the second time we've done this. Uh, it went over great in Pensacola. Mm -hmm. um, we're trying to get a little program going that we can take regionally and statewide, and then you know I'll take it to Connecticut and whatnot, and and hopefully that national uh, will kind of jump on this as well. Um, and then she's going to get into what's available on your desk, how to find certain things that will apply to commercial, uh, and then how to use specific tools that you already have and, and whatnot and, and make them work for you uh, without having them be standalone commercial tools, if you will. All right. Next. All right. So for most people, the entry to uh, RCC requires a class. You take the CCM Foundations class. That's kind of the first bullet point there. I want to tell you, first of all, how to find this. On your desktop, there is a Coldwell Banker CBU Learning, I believe is the tab mm -hmm. name for this. It's CBU, which is Coldwell Banker University, I believe, Learning. And uh, it's the, the hard thing is you've got about three tiles on your desk that have to do with education okay they're not it's not just one mm -hmm. so you have to go find this when they'll say cbu learning you can do a search there and, and we really want you to maybe even if you got your computer go find it now if you don't know where it is um get on your desk and find it it might uh, be in your see more too so if it's not showing up on your desk then add, add more apps yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah like these are more. <laughs> uh, but then you can do a search function there and find rcc or just commercial it should come up under either one um, there's two highlighted tabs here, or you can see two uh, hyperlink tabs there in blue. And that is two education um, uh, courses that are made just for our RCC agents. Now, the truth is they're so good, I'm probably going to start making the, the CBC guys do this as well. I mean, it's uh, uh, they're, they're high quality stuff, and, and it may be part of our onboarding is to do this from now on. I'm not saying that we're going to require RCCs to do it, but I think the expectation is that when you come in and you're starting to do commercial work, that you should continue your education always, right? I mean, we should never stop learning. And here's two great ways to do it. So after we get into the program, I think the first thing that most people ought to do is go and take these classes. Uh, if you'll go to the first screen, or the next screen. The first one is called CRE Accelerate. And this is a uh, self-paced class. You see Dan Spiegel there. Dan is the president of Coal Banker Commercial nationally. Um, and Dan uh, uh, kind of does a welcome message to you. And uh, once you get into that, it's it's just modules. You can take a module at a time. Uh, if you want to do them all in a day, you probably could do it. But it, I wouldn't skip around. You can skip around and come back to it. Have you? It's it's just really a nice course. The difference in this and the, that intro course that CCIM uh, has, it's really heavy in financials. I mean, you better have your financial mind on to take that class. This is a little bit more bread and butter, a little bit more, you know, about property types and how to and some prospecting and things like that. So uh, I, I say this is really more real world than the CCIM required class. So uh, take CRE Accelerate your first. Okay. Uh, uh, opportunity next and the second one is a financial analysis class this is a separate class it was the second hyperlink on that page we showed you a minute ago 
Um, this is the easiest to understand financial class for commercial real estate I've looked at. It's it's, it's layman's actually, language. It's easy. It's you got. It's CRE when? Yeah. Is it CRE yeah. when? Uh, financial loan analysis. Is that the class? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's. I hate to say, it, dumbed down a little bit. You know, it's easy to get through. Um, it, it, and when we say dumbed down, don't. It's, it's not for dummies. I right. Mean, it's, it, yeah. It's it's not as complex. Everything is useful. Than, I think it's just taught better. Right. To be honest with you, I think mm -hmm. it's just taught better than some. Have you ever had a teacher that wanted to show you how smart they were? Right. So they they make the language hard and they they kind of complicate it to make themselves look smarter or whatever. Right. Kind of like this. The, that one class that we took for two days, I and I, you know, I think I'm the only one that went, that's here that went. Yeah. I mean, we had to get all the all of us in Fort Walton kind of gathered together in order to get through it because mm -hmm. one of us would understand a piece, yeah, each piece because it wasn't taught to our level. I, yeah. I thought that he went. He a was too much. So. Yeah. Anyway, this is almost the same information, but it's in a manner that you'll easily understand it. And again, it's here that you can go back to it. It's in modules. You can do a piece at a time mm -hmm. and, and go back to a piece. It's it's really well done. So I highly recommend this for financials. Uh, and let me just say this one thing about financials. Don't let me or anybody, anybody else that just, that's on the commercial only side tell mm -hmm. you that we use this and we actually are doing financials for our clients on a regular basis, okay? We use it to understand it and know what the inputs that they need to have to make a good educated decision. And almost every property type looks at a different metric, a different way of measuring things. Uh, and we have to understand that it's different for multifamily than it is perhaps for an industrial or a, a retail property. We have to, and then we have to understand what these investment people, the people are truly making this as an investment, not an owner occupied property. We got to know what's important to them so we can give them the right information. Uh, anyway, take the financial analysis class. It is really nice. I think you're going to enjoy it. Uh, and it's it's layman or. or, or, it's, or common language. I don't know what to call it. Yeah, it is nicely done. It's easy to get through. Yep. You know? Thanks. All right. All right. Before she gets in the desk. Is, is everybody either online or in this room getting the invitations to our monthly coaching sessions? I don't think I am. Because <laughs> I forwarded mine to her. Well, it kind of depends on which email list we've been using. But mm -hmm. And Richard, you're probably not getting them yet because you're probably not uh, all, we don't have you on our list yet. And then some others are, are maybe in that same boat. If you're just now, if you're recently in the RCC program, or if you're like some people that are listening in are not quite there yet, but they're working on it. Uh, once we get your email address, you're going to be invited every month to uh, a coaching course. And I believe it's the second Monday of the month. And, and I'll make sure everybody that's attending today will, will know about through it. Through meetings. Okay, yeah. perfect. And, and so we do a different, we do different topics every month uh, and they're, this hmm? educational. They are educational. I think we, the email that they sent out had the list of topics yeah. as an attachment, which I sent to you. I believe yeah. last month we had RPR was on. Was yes, the one. That was. And I believe it. this month is RPR again, but it's going to be the next step yeah. uh, in this. When we go a little bit deeper dive, it was more of a overview of RPR for commercial last month, and now they're going to get into it and show you how to use some of the tools and hopefully how to prospect again. I've asked our education coordinator, Janet, to really focus on prospecting. I mean, mm -hmm. I just think that we got to be adding, you know, new business all the time. And and uh, so that's kind of been her task for the year is to find the different sources that we've got at our disposal and use them for prospecting. So um, you should be getting those. Please take advantage of those. If you've got topics that you feel like you're a little bit behind it or deficit in, you're not getting enough of something. You can let me know. We can play all. We can audible throughout the year, and uh, I think we've already audible. We're going to add a commercial contract and commercial forms class. Uh, talk about even you know, probably get our attorney online and get him to tell you what certain things mean and why we ask for them and things like that. So we've already added a course this year that wasn't on the original list that we'll 
little audible a little bit during the year. But but those ideas come from you guys as you run into to roadblocks. Can you turn your mic? Can you turn your mic up? Please? Yes. Okay. We're getting text. <laughs> well, I'm just about done, and I've been yelling. So. Is that a hundred? Uh, uh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, yeah. So as we get uh, requests throughout the year, we may change that. And, and but the Mondays. First, second Monday of every month. Second Monday. Look, look for uh, usually. I'll send you an invite. You, you should get something in advance. Good. She is. All right. Any questions on that on the education materials or uh, upcoming classes? Um, I, I'll have some after the meeting. Yeah. Because I went to this and it's not as easy to find these classes, so I'm going to take that course on this. Yeah. <laughs> good. Very good. Very good. Well, I'm going to turn over to Brett, uh, Brittany to go through the desk items and some of the marketing pieces. So take it away. All right. Um, hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm sitting next to the laptop online. Uh, I'm Brittany Moulton. I'm your field marketing specialist. I help all of our residential agents and now I have the pleasure of helping our RCC in commercial. So um, when Mike reached out to me and said, what can we do to help them? Um, I kind of brainstormed, used some of my um, resources, met with Connie, and we put together some items that you can kind of tailor to your residential as well as your commercial side. So the first thing I want to make sure is that you guys all have that RCC PowerPoint that was on desk. Um, if you don't, I will email it to you. It's a beautiful PowerPoint. Um, let me open it up. I'm going to move the computer really quick just to kind of show you what that looks like. I do have that saved. Sharing your screen. Yep, I am. <clears throat> let me just find it really quick. I know. I think I labeled it RCC, but you know, sometimes I just. There it is. You just yeah, it. that's I think this one though. I don't think it's the. Oh. It's a PowerPoint. That's the one of our family. Yeah, right. <laughs> Um, okay, I'll send it to everybody after this. Um, I have the sign up sheet just for lack of time. I don't want to waste time trying to look through my files, but I have a beautiful PowerPoint. Yes, Chris. Chris has it. It's pretty customizable um, where you can just go in there and plop it. Um, we've, we've talked about using Moxie quite a bunch with the RCC side. Moxie just seems to be not as editable. Doesn't seem as feasible just because there's a lot of things, a lot of numbers that you have to input, things like that. Um, <clears throat> You can always upload PDFs to Moxie, but I don't feel like it's as easy friendly as a PowerPoint is. So there's already a PowerPoint. I think you can actually search it on desk. Let's see if that works. Yeah, you can. If you RCC. type in RCC, that's what comes up. Okay. So if you type in RCC at the top of desk, there it is. RCC marketing presentation. So let's open this up real quick. This is where I found it, but. So this is what it looks like um, and there's 17 pages. So what I usually suggest is go ahead and build this out, make a nice shell that you can kind of repurpose, reuse, put all your information in there that's not gonna change. Um, and then you can just open it up, save it for the property that you're going to. So a pretty nice presentation already made for you, ready to go. Um, you could load this into Moxie if you wanted to use Moxie. It is a PowerPoint, you just have to convert it to a PDF and then upload it to Moxie and use Moxie. I just seem like, it seems like this is just a little easier. I don't, I don't know if online can hear me or not. I'm I walk up here. Nobody expects you to use all 17 pages yeah, right. at, at any time, right. okay? So we, we loaded more than you needed in here. The idea is you've got some really good, almost blank templates mm -hmm. that you can use to create a one page, a two page flyer, pull out the, the pages you want and use them. Um, uh, for more, you can make it a listing presentation, so use it for that. Once you've got the listing, take out certain components and put others in and make it your offering memorandum or, or a two-page flyer. So again, just use this and use the, only the components you really feel like you need in here. But again, this is it's a, it's a clean slate. Everything in here is editable. The little mm -hmm. red boxes are there as reminders to tell you what to do mm -hmm. on each page. Uh, but once you get it, once you've done them, you you hit it and you can get rid of that little red box. Yeah. So uh, it's it's beautiful what they've done, and, and I think Brittany's already been working with this. But if you'll enable editing, everything in there can be written over. So. Yeah, absolutely. So that's one tool that y'all have at your disposal. The second thing I wanted to show you is also on desk, so I'm going to stay on desk. 
on the left hand side, I know most of every everybody I meet with, they're like, oh, there's a left hand side of desk. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there is, there is, and there's some gold in there. Um, one of the gold things is under marketing, you have two things. The first one is a professional email signature. And actually Mike showed me this, the commercial side has had this forever. This is new to the residential side. So if you don't already have commercial in your email signature, go ahead and add it today. So I know you did one with design concierge, you just add it in there. Okay. Um, if you already have an established email signature that you love, just go ahead and add it. But that's something we don't think about all the time is, you know, what's in your email signature? Are you offering that to your potential? You just put the residential and commercial associate or something yeah. like that. Just residential, sure. community, commercial. I think you don't have to spell that out. Matter of fact, that confuses some people. I know. Don't you but have that's to say that, that when we first became RCCs, that was the only way yeah. we could designate ourselves. Yeah. So yeah, so what do we put? Because I know we there's well, stuff you can't, can't use say. the coal banker commercial no. logo. Right, no. that's really the only thing you can't do. Okay. But other than that, you can put in there that I am a you know residential slash commercial agent. 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 Okay. I mean that's a uh, realtor. Yeah. However you want to say it, yeah. it's it's fine. Sure. Realtor. Sorry, I didn't say it correctly. I forgot that. <laughs> I'm from California, so when I first moved here and I started saying it, we just that's how we always had said it. My dad was in real estate for 45 years. And so when I got here, I, I'll, I'll never forget the first agent that like corrected me. And I was like, okay, thank you. <laughs> what did you say? I, okay, thank you, ma'am. No, like, like what was the word? Realtor. Realtor. Oh, yeah, I don't say it correctly. Realtor, real author, you put an A in there. I do. Mm -hmm. Yankee, <laughs> California Yankee. way, okay? Realtor. Yankee say it that way too. Okay, Realtor. thanks. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, another thing that we really didn't touch on last class, but since we're right here, um, a lot of you don't know there's that QR generating code now too. So if you need a QR code for your website, um, we're gonna talk about your website here in, in a couple minutes. So this is a great way to just get a QR code if you wanna put on a business card. A lot of agents put it on their magnets, on their cars. Um, QR codes are pretty big right now. So you have that capability. I know they do. Okay, so those are the two on desk. Um, the next thing we're gonna go into is Moxie. So we kind of already touched on this. Um, you can add the PDF to a Moxie presentation. It's just adding it from your computer, uploading it to Moxie. Um, like we kind of touched on earlier, I really like that RCC PowerPoint on desk a lot better just because I feel like there's more capabilities, but you have the capability of adding it into Moxie. So if you love Moxie, and you work with Moxie a lot, you can add it. You can also save the one that we just opened as a PDF and add it into your Moxie. Um, you can add the comps that way, and then you can also use Moxie to showcase your RCC credentials. So in all of your bios, in InTouch, in Moxie, on Zillow, all your profiles should say something about commercial. So if you don't already have in there that you specialize in residential and commercial, that would be something I would say update. Also, if you haven't updated your bio since you started in the business, go ahead and update that. Things probably have changed, right? Your yeah. experience has shifted. Um, you're more seasoned. You have more under your belt. You can talk a little bit more about your experience. So go into all your bios on, on desk and on your profiles and make sure you have commercial in there too. Okay, moving on to in touch. So this is going to be the meat of what we talk about. And I know a lot of you are going to say, why are we talking about in touch? We've all heard that Moxie is coming. So two sidebars. Sidebar number one, Moxie is here, but Moxie is not um, Moxie's not a hundred percent optimized. So I kind of wish we would have not launched it right away because there's a lot of kinks. It's a great program. I love it. I can't wait for it. But we do have a lot of issues going on right now. So in touch is still going to be our focus in training until Moxie is a little bit more um, better, I guess I should say, for lack of better words, until all the kinks are you know worked out. So a couple things that we wanted to talk about is how to add a commercial tab to your website. It's going to be the same on Moxie when we transfer over to Moxie. Um, it's all about adding that commercial tab on your InTouch website. So I want to show you what I mean. I'm actually going to log into one of our RCC's um, websites. So you can see exactly what I mean. I use him as an example and he lets me. So let me log in there really quick. Do you guys already have one of these on your 
in touch website commercial tab no nobody okay awesome so this will be nice and new for you um it's pretty simple it's just adding a tab at the top uh, i'll ask my marketing director yeah. so if we're at wes's website up at the top you have your um subcategories on your website you can see that he added a commercial tab over here so you can have a commercial tab on your website we could also use a url code to direct people so if you're talking to commercial people you could scan that url code and it would drop them right onto this landing page um and you could build this page out so he doesn't have anything on here yet we're still working on it but what you could put on here you could put uh sales past sales or current sales that you have that are on the market you could also put a video talking about you and how you are the best in commercial and you know what you bring to the table you could put uh featured properties maybe ones that are on the market in the area there's a lot of things we could do with this tab as well as getting started right so for investors and you know people who are looking for commercial you could have a whole bit of information for them to read and you can actually have them fill out something so this is something we would sit down one on one to kind of build out because it, it is a little time consuming but i just wanted to show you that this is a great resource um, and you will have this ability on moxie too so moxie is very different in the sense that it's better it's a wordpress website it's not templated like in touch so if you're paying for I know probably some of you guys have your own websites aside from InTouch. Um, Moxie's gonna be very similar to the ones that you're paying for away from Cobble Banker. It's just got a lot more capabilities. So this will still be able to happen on Moxie. Anyone have any questions about that? Do you want me to show you how to add the tab real quick or is anyone interested in that? Sure. Yeah? I think you should. Okay. Me too. Okay. So we're gonna go right back up to this little presenting thing always in my way. Come on, go away. I know, I don't want it there anymore. Okay, so when we're in Market Leader right here, um, you're gonna go to your website and you're gonna hit Edit Site. And this is how you edit all of your website. So this is like your back end of your website. If you come down here, you see they have all these little tabs. So you have your home, communities, properties, and if we scroll all the way down, we can see his commercial tab. Uh -huh. So all you would do to add your commercial is click that add button and name it commercial. So that's how you would add the tab, but we'd have to add content into the tab, but that's how we could add it. So right now you could add the tab to your website and publish it so it's like you're working on it and then we can publish it when we sit down together but that's how we would get started and then we would brainstorm content that we want to put on it maybe there's a blog or an article or a link to comps or whatever you want to put on there we could actually embed into that link i want your phone number absolutely <laughs> absolutely love to help thank you yeah so that's how you would add your tab. So let's go back to our PowerPoint. Um, the other thing that I wanted to talk through is newsletter and flyers. So there's a couple things on InTouch that are already kind of done for you that you can kind of maximize with um, your marketing. So under your InTouch, we're still in InTouch. If you come up to marketing tab and you click marketing center, it's going to drop you into all of the marketing collateral you have within InTouch. It's going to be very similar in Moxie. Um, so everything I'm showing you is going to kind of click when we click over to Moxie. Um, up at the top left, we have a monthly newsletter. Many people don't know this, but Cobble Banker puts together a monthly newsletter for all of its agents. It's got really great information in there. It talks about current things, trends, seasons um, that you can add to. So what I always tell people is add a commercial section to your newsletter. So every month you have a commercial element at the bottom of your newsletter. So let me show you what I mean. You're going to drop in here and you're going to scroll down. And you're going to see um, Wes's goes out on 2-7 of every month. Yours might be different. It just depends when you activated your in touch. They don't all go out on the same day. So we're not spamming people on the 1st and the 15th like most companies do. Yeah. It kind of staggers it. So you're just going to click that personalize button anytime before the 7th for him. And it's going to open it up. 
It's going to show you what the content that Caldwell Banker has already loaded in here. So you've got selling your home for spring. Here's a winner to do list. You can come in here and customize all this. Maybe you don't like this picture. It's not aesthetically pleasing to the eye. You want to add something different. You can. You can add a video of yourself. Um, and then if we scroll all the way down, this is where I probably would change this from the germs are coming to, <laughs> to commercial spotlight, right? Um, we don't need to learn about the germs anymore. I'm over this COVID stuff. So, um, and I'm sure your clients are too. So I would change that to commercial spotlight and then write a little something about commercial. You could have featured properties in here, some pictures, um, and then it pulls all your info in from in touch. So it's already got your headshot, your email, your phone number, contact. So you really don't have to do a lot. It's pretty simple, a couple steps. You just got to remember to come in here and do it before it launches out to your individuals. Mike Simpson does a great newsletter I've seen. Everybody here probably does, but I see mm -hmm. his. Ask him if he gets his through this or if he's doing this separately. I'm just curious. Mike, did you hear what um, Mike asked you? I did, and um, I'm sorry if I missed something. I had you muted. I had somebody in the office, uh, but yeah, I do. Um, I'll share, and Mike probably already knows the answer to this, but um, Navarre Press does all my all my stuff, and so uh, a lot of that is coming from them that I've guided them to what I want it to be, and they do that, and they do that newsletter. It's well done, and. and you know, I think just the fact you're doing one and getting it out is is important and being consistent about it and all that. And she's showing West Payne as an example using our tools, which I encourage everybody to, to take advantage of that. It's done, most of it's done for you. Yeah. So if you can just add a little bit of content to make it a little different every month, that's that's your requirement or your responsibility. The commercial tab is a great place to do it. It's a place to put a listing in if you've got a new listing you want to talk about. There are resources if you're not getting inundated with emails from you know commercial uh, uh online magazines and whatnot with great articles in them you probably aren't online searching enough because once they get you they got you and you're going to get mm -hmm. and you'll get a bunch of stuff but i get great content from some sites like globe street and there's just a bunch of them out there mm -hmm. so once you start getting those they don't mind you as long as you give them credit yep they don't mm -hmm. mind you using their stuff and re and rebroadcasting it. So um, I, I, would, I would take that and make it, I take the easy route, write a sentence or two about it, why you think it's important, mm -hmm. and then put their article in there and give them credit for it. And, and you've got a whole new, uh, you know, yeah. uh, segment of your newsletter. So. Yeah. I see a lot of Mike's um, stuff on LinkedIn too. Yeah, I see it too. So um, I want to show you one that Wes customized. So this would be the next one that goes is going to go out. He hasn't customized it yet, but I just want to show you how he kind of gets really, um, really nitty gritty, and it's pretty, pretty good. So this is a completed one. So Wes is using um, a video. So this is probably a video about him, kind of introducing himself, so they see him. So it's a video that they're watching, and then he also has the market snapshot, which we're actually going to talk about here in a minute too. So he's kind of using multiple tools in one to really just capture. We know video is king. All of our social media platforms are always going to optimize you more if you use video. A lot of realtors are not comfortable in front of the video, and I get that. Um, but it does, it, it gives him a really great open rate. His open rate is amazing on um, his newsletters because he's got a video and people want to watch it. So just something to think you about. To watch it? Yeah, let me, let me exit out of here. And let me go, well, maybe not. Let's see. You might go his last one. Yeah, but it's not letting me. Press play. Mm. Mm -mm. But I can probably let's see if I can let me see if I can trick it real quick. <laughs> and go into messages. Let's go into his scent and I'll show you if maybe I can see it then. Here we go. That was January 2020. Here it goes. There it is. I tricked it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta oh, drink it. This video is private. Okay, Wes. So it looks like his um, YouTube channel is not public. So I need to get with him and tell him that because it's not letting me watch it there. 
Um, but this is his live one. Let's see if there's another one real quick. And if not, then we'll just we'll move forward. But here's December. Is, there we go. Come on. Oh, baby. Nope. Oh. I know he has a YouTube channel. It's just Wes. I subscribe to it. There it is. Chicken salad? Yep, so he's doing recipes. That was cool. He likes to get in the kitchen. Real estate campaign. Spring's coming. Don't forget to set your clocks forward this weekend. And here comes a recipe. It's good old fashioned chicken salad. So just I something fun, so right? Now I know what he does. Yeah, so he does some informative ones too, where he'll be in front of a listing, just like most realtors yeah. do. But he enjoys cooking. And so when we talked about his marketing, I said, why would you not do something that you love to do? Mm -hmm. I mean, if you gave me a recipe, I have three kids. Like, give me, I mean, yeah. give me all the recipes, right? No, I mean, I'm I always going to want that. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> she makes the best liquor candy. That oh, oh, my you should God. Do Incredible. That. Yes, Dennis sometimes. Incredible. <laughs> Let me say around Pensacola right now, his little slogan is Wes is more. Yeah, I think that's cute. I, it's cute. And let me tell you, people are saying it all over town. People mm -hmm. not even in the business are saying, and they're kind of making fun of it, but guess what? They're, they're saying it. They're, they're saying it. That's all that matters. It clicked. I got a mutual friend. He goes, where's old Wes is more at today? Right. It's like, it's, I mean, this video has 425 views. Yeah. I mean, so it's getting viewed. So it's, it's something's working. For yeah. Me. So just just think about something that you're passionate about. Like, you know, that also makes him relatable. You know, somebody wants to work with Wes because he's number one, he's a great guy. But number two, he's relatable. And that's what marketing is. It's finding something that makes you relatable, that they can connect with you. Like I always tell people when I sit down with them, think of your last five transactions. What's the commonality? Where did you meet them? Did they all come from one place? Are they different? Are they referrals? What does your business look like? And play off of that. So. It's brilliant. Last five. Why'd you mm -hmm. just now say that? I told you that a long time ago. We sat down. Referrals. You, had five, you had never been. You hadn't sold anything when we first met. <laughs> okay. So um, those are some ideas. That's your um, newsletter. The second thing I wanted to show you in um, our marketing in in touch is going to be your flyers. So let's m exit out of the newsletter. And we're going to go back to the marketing center under marketing. And I'm just going to show you how to get a quick flyer. So if you're inputting your commercial listings in your MLS, this is going to be a great tool for you. If you're not putting them in the MLS, then you're going to have to manually do it. There's a couple extra steps. So if we click on print marketing, yep, marketing, marketing center, print marketing. And instead of the postcards that it's kind of putting you to, click on flyers. So we're going to scroll down a little bit past these. You have marketing flyers for properties and you have co-listing, you have uh, teams and then you have single agent. So let me just click on the single agent flyer. And what you can do is if your commercial listing is in the MLS, you'll just click the MLS number. It'll pull in all the info from the MLS and you have a flyer ready to go in two seconds. Wow. Super simple, super easy. Um, oh, you can do this with your residential um, listings too obviously if there's an mls number if it's not in the mls all you have to do is click personalize and you can actually swap out these photos so you just click the photo click image and you'll grab an image from your desktop so you can create a flyer in probably under five minutes easily here if it's not in the mls if it is in the mls it'll pull everything in for you which is super cool and it's already got the disclaimer, so you're covered under that. It's got the logos, it's got your picture and your information. Is there this. a way that you don't have <clears throat> two emails, <throat> two phone numbers? Yeah, you just change it. I mean, yeah, you, you can like change it on every single one. There's no way of going in to actually profile so that it's only showing up once. You can, um, yes and no. So no, because when it sends from in touch, it's going to send from your in touch email. Mm -hmm. You can put on your information if you want to contact me, put your just your Cobalt Banker Realty email or Gmail or whatever you use. Um, but 
it's always going to be two because it's coming from CB InTouch. That's your marketing platform. Okay. So, but yeah, this is all editable. So we could take out, I don't know why his is there twice, but we would take out both phone numbers. Because I noticed when I was doing the newsletter, yeah. I had my phone oh. number twice, my email, and mm -hmm. exactly the same stuff yeah. twice. And yeah, twice. it should, it, it, sh it could just be a glitch. Um, but that's why I always say with the newsletter, especially go in there. Sometimes they put stuff in there where it's like, get ready for the snow. And I'm like, we're in Florida. <laughs> it, it did. It did blurry. It did blurry this year. But most of the time I say, just keep eyeballs on it. You just want to make sure that there's nothing. I mean, Cole Banker's got some really great stuff, but sometimes there's some funky stuff that I'm like, why did we do this? <laughs> so yeah, so this is a great resource for you for a flyer. Um, and there's lots of other collateral in the marketing center for both your commercial and your residential side. So just keep keep that tab in mind, marketing, marketing center. And I've already seen the marketing on the Moxie side. It's so similar. So if you learn this now, don't think that you're going to have to learn two things. They're pretty similar. Does anyone have any questions about newsletter and flyer? No. Flyers is just one page. Yeah, so you would just download it and then print it here at the office, or you could email it. Did you find it? Yeah, I'm like testing it out. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, and then the last thing is emails. So the same thing we're going to be in, in, in touch. And instead of clicking on that print marketing, we're going to click on email and video. So there's a bunch of emails already created for you with lots of beautiful language that you could just add a commercial element to in a video or pictures, or you could just start off with like a blank template, something, you know, very similar and edit it to have commercial. So there's lots of really great stuff already built out. Don't reinvent the wheel. Good question. Mm -hmm. I just made a flyer. Yeah. And it came back with my uh, Florida Moose email, but it also came back with my CB in touch, in touch email. Where does that go? Um, the CB in touch is in here to in touch. So all your marketing that's sent here is. So if somebody emails you back, it's up here in this messages right up here. Oh, but you can also forward it to, to your regular yeah. email. You can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you have the app on your phone for Market Leader, it'll notify you when somebody emails you on in touch. Aren't there some like, I don't know, uh, open house? There's some flyers in here that I've I've gone in and made flyers, yeah. and commercial open flyers, house. just to prove that I can do it. But mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter what it says on it. You can if you can just it. find a one-page flyer in here that's got a layout and a format you like. Yep, change it. Everything in it's editable. Yep. Okay. So just snag it and change it. It's yep. simple. And it pulls in that information from the MLS too. So you have less work to do, which I love because you're not like sitting there having to copy paste, you know, save all these photos. It's just pulling everything in. So um, you could do a one off email here. You could do a, um, a specific email. Maybe it's, hey, did you know I do commercial? Or hey, did you know here's, you know, commercial specials or whatever you want to say. Um, you can come in here and choose a layout that you like to Mike's point and just kind of customize it. Okay, so that's in touch. Um, the next tool that we're going to jump into is Market Quest V2. A lot of you are using this for your residential side. There is a commercial side to Market Quest V2. Um, I will put a little disclaimer out there. We know that most commercial properties, not most, but a majority of them, sometimes don't always go in your MLS. So you're gonna have to take this snapshot at face value. Only the properties that are commercial that are put into the MLS are gonna pull from MarketQuest because it pulls from the MLS. I gotcha. Okay. If let me, they, let me ask if they put it because eCar requires us to put it in Gulf Coast Commercial, but Gulf Coast Commercial, if we're not a paid member, is showing up private, so which number would we use? Would we use the Gulf Coast commercial MLS number or? It, it doesn't, Gulf Coast commercial is not participating with anything else. It doesn't, you know, that wow, may right change in, uh, in a couple of months, I'll right. you've heard, but we're changing yeah. vendors. I'm on that okay. task force too. Right. <laughs> right. Awesome. Anyway, I don't want any more tests. When we change vendors, we may be able to load up tomorrow. Okay. Yes, so that's I'm, I'm hoping that's what I'm, one of the things I hope comes out of that. So yeah, so just think that. The car is hoping so too. Yeah. yeah. So let's jump into Market Quest B2. Let me find it on my. So it 
only pulls from MLS. Yes, so it's not going to pull Correct. from MLS. Right, yeah. right. Okay. So just take this for face value. Yep. It's not going to be 100% real data, um, but it's a good tool to use for yourself. Sure. A, a lot of our RCCs are just automatically putting it in both places. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and, and other people in town are doing the same thing. So yours might actually pull up a pretty healthy report. Yeah. Um, market trends from, from the commercial side. I, I don't know what it's mm -hmm. going to pull, but it might. Yeah. So there's four things that MarketQuest V2 does if you haven't been in here already. Number one is number one claims. So you can actually look in a zip code and see if Cobble Banker is number one in that area as like listing side, transaction side. So it's a great social media tile to like to share to say, hey, we're number one in Fort Walton for listings or whatever. Um, number two is going to be market position. Um, so that's just going to, I mean, it's exactly what it says. Um, market trends is going to be a cohesive, more analytically uh, driven report for those analytical people that you have that might need it. And then the last thing is a snapshot. So I'm going to work my way back just because I feel like I use a snapshot most. Um, and the snapshot is that thing that Wes had in his um, newsletter. So he uses it for his farm area. So when you click on that, it's going to drop you in to create your report. You're going to click your assigned MLS. Let's let, let's see if it lets me change my MLS to. Yeah. It yeah, does. There it is. Okay, there it is. Let's see if it works. Um, and then what we're going to do is I'm actually going to scroll down real quick before I put a zip code in and I'm going to check on commercial, take off condo, take off townhome, take off single family. What's the zip code here? 32548. Okay, and then you may want to not want to limit the zip code on, yeah. on, uh, on commercial. I'm just saying, I'm not sure how many you're going to actually get that zip code. Like Melissa County, maybe? Can you just leave that blank and have everything from mm, eCard? I don't think so. Okay. Put up Melissa County if you can. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> oh, gosh, guys. I do that all the time. I'm a little nervous when everyone's staring at me typing. Yeah. Um, so time period is going to always be uh, last month. So it's always going to go for LY last month. Um, and then price range, I wouldn't put anything and we'll just hit update. Okay, so it's not going to pull a ton, Mike. This yeah. might not be the best. Okay, so for commercial, and it also could be that I'm not cooked up correctly to the Emerald Coast yeah, Association yeah. of Realtors because um, I only have yeah, MLS. Change it back to par and show what it looks like in uh in his. Oops. And then we'll do a scambia. Are you doing yours? No. <laughs> um, no, no, no. I started to. Mm, let's see. I was just curious. Yeah. Okay, so that worked. So it looks like I'm just not hooked up to um, e car, which would make sense. Um, so we got. This is the market snapshot for January of 2022. So it's recent numbers, 1 million in average sales price. That's up 125%. Um, median list price, we're down sales price for list price ratio. Number of properties sold is four. MSI is 9.25. So this is a great tool, especially on the residential side if you're farming a specific neighborhood. This would be a more neighborhood snapshot. Um, and you, all you do is you just click that share snapshot and download it, and it's a great social media. I think Taylor does a really good job in this office sending this out to y'all, so you guys have seen that. Um, but like I said, face value, you got to take this and realize that the numbers might not be 100%, but this is something. Um, I'm going to jump over to the market trends. That's that beefier report. So if we click that, let's do the same thing we just did. Let's do... Gambia County. And then I'm going to take off single family, townhome, condominium, and add commercial and hit update. So um, this is the market trends report. You can kind of change your viewpoint. So if you like percentage points or dollar amounts, I like percentage points, it's preference. Um, but the real meat and potatoes is down here in your average medium sales price. You actually have a great graph. So this is going back all the way to 2019. 
Um, and then it's going all the way to January last month. So you can kind of hover over. These are live links to kind of see where you were in the months prior. Same thing for sales price, list price ratio. I mean, you guys get the point here. Days on market. There's and a lot. You can of save that to add it to your presentation newsletter. and newsletter. Yep. Okay. So you could add this to your Moxie presentations. You could add this to your PowerPoint. You could add it to your newsletter. You could share it on Facebook. There, the possibilities are endless. Lots of good stuff to do with this. Um, and then when you do want to export the report, if you click on it, it comes with a beautiful cover page with all my info and you can actually delete some of these out. So let's just pretend you didn't want all of this. Maybe you don't want inventory and MSI or whatever. You just uncheck what you don't want in the report. Yeah, it's super simple. Yeah, and it downloads as a PDF, so it's great for you to put in Moxie presentations. So this is great for residential too. Um, then you have your number one, our market position, same thing. Um, Gambia, let's see. Let's change it. Let's see where we stand in commercial and it's Gambia. So this is because we don't have a lot of our stuff in there. So it's saying that we're not even ranked really, but that would be because a lot of our call banker commercial is not even put in the Pensacola MLS. So, and then number one claims. So this one you're really gonna use for um, your residential side. But let's see if there's anything just for, oh yeah, it doesn't even let me change to commercial anyways. So this one would not be relevant for you because there's no commercial. This would just be for residential. But that's Market Quest V2. That's another way to use it. Um, another tool in your toolbox. Um, does anyone have any questions on Market Quest V2? Hope you guys are learning some some good tidbits. Okay, so last but not least, my favorite is social media. So I want to talk about these ones on the board: Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube. I'm not negating the rest of social media. These are just the ones I want to focus on, um, especially Facebook. So does everyone in here have a business Facebook page? I don't do Facebook. OK. <laughs> and the more I hear about it, the less likely I am to join it. OK, OK, that's fair. That's fair. So I, I mean, there are still very successful agents that don't use Facebook. Um, I'm going to give you the benefits and the reasons why I like it. And if you like it, you do. If you don't, then I mean, please, you're doing you're doing your thing, girl. So I'm not going <laughs> to I'm not here to change your mind. I'm just here to inform you. Right. Um, but does everybody else have a business page? OK, perfect. All right, so a couple things for Facebook that you can use is BrandServe. So everybody knows about BrandServe in here, hopefully. Or social media. OK, let me go into it real quick. Um, BrandServe is going to be a tile on desk. This is where all of our social media tactics are housed. There's logos in here and there's also great um, social media content that you can just come in here and post and save and schedule out for the whole month. Um, in our latest tactics, we're going to have all of our awards. So those of you have qualified for awards, which a lot of you have in this room, there's the award tactics. I don't do that. You don't do it? Mm -mm. No. It's not about me. <clears throat> it's about your customers. Mm -hmm. um, in your marketing assets, you have logos. So if you're creating anything um, on the side with marketing, you can come in here and download the logos. But there's also this social media tab. So I'm going to click on that real quick. And in here, there's really great um, I heart clients for life. Lots of really great stuff that you can put on your social media. But to focus more on commercial, one I want to show you in specific is if we come up here to the search bar and you type in listing, it is going to bring you up to a generic listing tile right here where it says listing update headline. So this one you can customize to put commercial listing. And you can change the info, add your picture, and it's a beautiful social media tile. So if you just go ahead and click it and follow the steps, if it's a co-list, a team, you always have to come up here to that customize button. You're gonna select your version. Do you want blue or white? I always like blue. Um, headline for English or Spanish. 
Then you've got your headline, so you can either do a custom headline or they have ones that are already kind of laid out for you. Um, but since we're doing a commercial one, I'm going to put custom. And this is where you would add new commercial listing. So you've got a way to showcase your commercial listings. For image, that's going to be the image of the property. So I'm just going to use Melissa's real quick because I just helped her with one of these. Um, and this is where you put the property address. We'll just put whatever this is. Property square feet. This is where you would put obviously your property details. For logo and brand serve, very important. There's a ton of logos in here. A little sidebar so you're not scrolling through everything. A little trick is CBR from Caldwell Banker Realty. Mm -hmm. And it'll bring up our logo. For agent, you can either select agent, team, or co list. Then you'll need to add your team image if it's a team. Or your agent image so let me pick an agent we'll go with mr mike hudson why not and then your team name if it's a team oh look michael's already filling in last name just put him as my last name why not <laughs> just put me naming him <laughs> yeah you know and then this would be um agent one so this is where we'd have to put his title realtor his office name office address. I'm just filling random stuff in here, guys, for time. Um, and then for license number, you don't need a license number, so you just put none. We're not but in you California. Would, if you were co-listing, that's where you would put the second co -listing. Yes, right here, agent two photo. Yep, so you'd put the other photo, the other information, title. Um, so let me take this out because there's only one. And then um, license format for the second one, we're going to put none. And then you'll just agree that you have the rights. That means that you have the rights to the photos that you're using. And then you'll generate your proof. And on the right hand side, it will show you the proof. And you'll see, and you guys can make fun of people now, it's going to look pink, everything that I wrote. But if if I go ahead and hit order and I go through, it's going to be white. So if okay. you see pink on Facebook, then you know they didn't do the right thing. <laughs> um, and you can laugh at them behind their back a little bit and be like, haha, you didn't go to Brittany's training. Um, so I always like to like laugh a little bit and then I'll retest the agent because I'm nice and I'll redo it for them and send it to them. Um, but I like to laugh a little bit because I'm like, you didn't listen. Um, so go ahead and hit order to complete your order. Once you're, you know, you just make sure everything's spelled right. Um, and then everything's free in here. Call Banker pays for it all. And then we'll just download it when it lets us download. So now we have this beautiful commercial yeah. listing ready to go. Wow. And it's branded. It's got your disclaimer on it. You're, you know, you're following all health, fair housing. Ready to go. Super easy. Mm-hmm. Ready. What's your phone number? Their yeah. code 818. 359-0190. Um, okay, so that's brand serve for social media. There's tons of other ones in here. You can download that. They're not as invasive where you have to like change everything. They're already ready. You just download them and post them. Like holiday ones are in here. So if you wanted to post your holiday ones and schedule them out. Are the rest of for Gandhi? No. <laughs> right? Oh, my God. Um, my last basket made four hundred and fifty dollars. Wow! For an auction for ecar. <laughs> that is nice. Um, commercial content for your Facebook business page. So uh, Mike was kind of sharing some of the avenues where he gets his, you know, articles and things like that from. If you could maybe maybe in the next one we can. You know what? That'd be a good idea for yeah. next one. I'll try to come up with some uh, a list for you guys to to go online and look. Southeast real estate. Southeast commercial. Real estate. They put out a uh, print magazine, but also get um, nice online content. And Globe Street, I really <laughs> like Globe Street lately. That's two that I. There's one I get. I'm trying to think of. Southeast. That. I'm sorry. Southeast. I think it's Southeast Commercial. Uh, <clears throat> But that's a great resource to grab perfect stuff for Facebook and other social media platforms. The only reason why I say social media, especially Facebook, is great with the business page. Number one is the analytical I'm data. I'm going to let you, you're going to show me how to do okay. it. I had a girlfriend ask me to get on Facebook in 2008. I wasn't on it four months and I had a virus and it shut my computer down. Okay, so you had a bad experience. I get it. I get it. So I understand. The, the parent companies, RE Real Estate. 
business online? RE real estate. Just, no, just RE business online. Real RE stands business. for real estate. Business online. Online also together.com. And then I always choose the Southeast. You can go to the Midwest or okay. you gotcha. get a Southeast one and that would give. Um, they put that in the chat for the people online yeah, here. You can, you can go in and get like Florida specific right. news. They'll usually break it out by state, but they've got a print magazine they send to the office every month, but they also am on their email list. So I get, I don't know how, what the frequency is, but they give me pretty frequent uh, newsletters and, and it's good content. Uh, and the other one is Globe ST, Globe Street. those of you online i'm just putting some content in the chat where mike said would be great for you to use for social media to share so those are two that he just mentioned so i didn't know if you could hear them so i put them in the chat for you yeah, Globe Street, the, the the email at, or the website is globest.com globest.com and um i get most of the most of what i've been sending out comes from them lately so okay. Um, so yeah, so the analytical data for Facebook is just unmatched. So if you guys do have a business Facebook page, make sure you're going into that analytical data, see who's people who's coming onto your website. Are they local? Are they out of town? Do we need to reshift your focus? Like, are you seeing a lot of people on your Facebook from Atlanta or New York or California? Um, and then that way we can talk about strategizing. We should be really honing in on that specific market. Um, then you have videos, so we've already kind of touched on videos and I'm, I'm a broken record with videos because I've seen really great success with videos. I mean, all your platforms are going to give you extra kudos. They want you to keep them on their Facebook or Instagram or whatever platform you're on and videos is how people stay on platforms. So if you can make some videos, I highly encourage it. Um, I know you have a really pretty video. What's the best way to share your videos? On the platform organically. So. What that means is I would do your video on your phone or on a camera, mm -hmm. then I would upload it to YouTube. Okay. Then I would upload it to Facebook. So you need to create a YouTube channel. channel. Yes. yes. Because if you're trying to just share the YouTube link, then you're taking people away from Facebook and Instagram uh -huh. and taking them to YouTube. So Facebook's actually going to give you negative okay. points. So, so from YouTube, then you... I put it on YouTube and upload it like a new video and then I'd go to Facebook and upload it like a new video. So organically upload it to each platform instead of sharing it mm -hmm. cross platform. Most people will tell you the opposite, but the the data for organic traffic is if you upload it organically on each platform, you're going to get more views. So you're going to get seen more and they're going to show your video more to people. Okay. Do you think this is a good time or should I tell them about Sunbelt? Oh yeah, that would be great. Okay. so. Our sister company, Sunbelt Title, will come in and do a video for you. They'll come in and do a professionally produced personal video of you. Mm -hmm. And they'll do more than one. You can sit down and just do a little, little personal introductory video that you use across all platforms. You can do one specific to commercial. You can talk about why you are involved in commercial real estate, you know, what attracted you to it, uh, maybe talk about some experiences or some things you've sold. But you can do multiple videos and they'll bring a, a crew in. You just need to schedule it with them. So Sunbelt Title has offered to do videos for our agents. Okay. And I would take them up on it. I'm going to take them up on it and do a, a recruiting video for agents, you know, that I can use and send out on my LinkedIn channel. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to I'm going to do it with them soon. And uh, so I encourage you to, to call them and take uh, take advantage of that. Yeah, Kim would love to come in here and set it up for y'all. Um, I know Brad is going to be in town shortly, so. Um, we can see if we can get that. That'd but be that, awesome. Yeah, it's great. Also for your bios, you can put that on your website bio, on CB admin bio. Um, it's just a really great video that you can kind of put a lot of places. I mean, you can link it at the bottom <laughs> of your signature page. You can do a yep. lot of stuff with that link. So yep. once you get the video made, you get a link to it. It's uploaded somewhere. Put that link everywhere. Perfect. You know? yeah. Perfect. Okay, so um, then we already talked about YouTube video. Having a YouTube channel is important too. Just because if you're touring properties, you can also hide videos and send links to your potential clients. So it doesn't have to be on your channel, but at least it's a platform. So if you have out of town buyers, you could, you know, tour the property and then just send them the link. 
um, featured listings on Facebook. We talked about using brand serve for that. Um, and then Canva. So Canva is a great resource if you are creative and you like to uh, create things. Um, I use Canva. I have a couple classes on my YouTube channel about Canva that you're welcome to watch. Um, you can create some really cool flyers, um, pamphlets. Um, we created some nice door knockers for Chris. Um, when you first started. So there's lots of really great things you can do on Canva. Um, so Instagram is going to have the same exact kind of thing that we just talked through. The only difference is um, there's a couple more elements to Instagram. There's, you know, different things. There's the highlights. There's the reels. Um, let me show you an Instagram for one of our agents that looks really good. So you can maybe follow her. So this is Holly. She's out of um, our Destin office. So when we talk about Instagram, these are highlights. So these are things that are saved. So what you could do if you're any Instagram user, you could make a highlight that says commercial business and have all your commercial business in your highlight. Um, residential, just sold, testimonials, um, Fort Walton Beach, Niceville, right? Like you can make a highlight for each of those. Um, and then you could have some reels too, some reels or videos. So just chopped up videos that you have. So there's lots of potential with social media. We could go down a whole rabbit hole with social media. It's one of my favorite things. Um, but get with me if you're interested in kind of beefing up your social media. Happy to sit down with you and help. Um, I just want to show you the capabilities that you have. Um, you can use Canva for Instagram too. LinkedIn. So we've kind of mentioned it twice already. Once with Mike, he uses it, and then this Mike. Um, it's, uh, LinkedIn is great for a resource. Number one for agents, and a lot of agents kind of overlook LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. Number one is you can ask for recommendations on LinkedIn. So if you had a really successful transaction with another agent, you can ask that agent, "Hey, can you leave me a recommendation? I'll leave you one." How good does that look that you're yeah. going across the table, shaking hands with somebody and they're giving you accolades um, and they're in another brokerage and the same goes to you. So that's a really great, powerful tool, um, as well as there's groups on LinkedIn where you could go in and if people have questions about commercial, be the commercial expert, go in there and answer the questions. There's a lot of people that don't know about commercial. They're not educated on it you be the expert go in there and add yourself insert yourself i, I use it for prospecting mm -hmm. so i heard a rumor that a fairly big paper distributor you know like uh, the tap paper tiles you know the paper industry distributor in pensacola had outgrown they had some space limitations where they were and all i went to their i went to linkedin and found you know, give you the list. I put I put Supreme Paper in. They gave me employees there that had LinkedIn pages. One of them happened to be the local president, GM. Mm -hmm. Sent him a message. He sent me one back. I invited him to be a LinkedIn. He linked in with me. We're messaging back and forth. Now I've got I've got a chance to maybe sell him some land. That he's going to build a new building on. Awesome. And then. I actually know the owner of the old building, so we'll probably get to lease that out for him. I mean, I'm going to get two pieces of business. Mm -hmm. I heard a rumor in town, I found the guy in LinkedIn. So if they put their name out there in LinkedIn, they're fair game for you. They want to connect with you, so you might as well connect with them. Yep, yep. And those groups and networks are good too. Add yourself to the commercial networks and network with other, you know, associates yep. in the area. But yeah, there's a lot of groups of people asking questions, investors and things like that, where you could just go in and, you know, spend some time on the forums answering questions um, and you'd get some good kudos. You could put your video on LinkedIn, your personal video. Keep LinkedIn very personal. I always say in, on Facebook and Instagram, it should be a good mix of your business and your pleasure, uh, appropriate pleasure, right? Um, but people also, again, back to want to relate to you and know who you are, and they're going to want to work with you because they know that we can relate. Um, so on Facebook, you want to do a good mix. On LinkedIn, I would keep it more professional only. Um, and we talked about recommendations. And then the last social media platform I'm going to touch on is YouTube. So YouTube is important. We've already kind of talked about it. Uh, videos strictly on commercial. So having a commercial arm in your YouTube channel. Um, informational. I mean, it would be great if someone did an informational series on the process of commercial and how it's different. I've never seen anything like that. That would be a great, be great mm -hmm. yeah. that would be a really great uh, way to start. 
as well as sharing it on social media and then the Sunbelt video on YouTube as well. So there's lots of really great resources. Um, a couple other social media platforms we didn't talk about are Twitter and TikTok and Snapchat and all the others. Um, you got to find what you you work best in. I always tell agents that. I mean, it's overwhelming. Pick one that you enjoy, that you're already on, that you're doing well. Do it well. Master that, and then and then step out of your comfort zone. Let's do something really good because it's all about consistency, right? It, it, you're only as good as as consistent as you are, and if you try to do too many and you're not consistent, it's not gonna work out. I saw a really great YouTube uh, from a guy that's a multifamily specialist out of Gainesville, Florida, and and you know doesn't seem like an exciting both theory. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. On both, <laughs> and uh, so. He actually made it fun and funny. He had one of his counterparts in there, and the subject was looking at, you know, uh, doing an investment analysis from a buyer's and a seller's standpoint. And they just did a real simple cap rate, you know, type example, but they had what the seller was looking at and the things he was putting in there, and then the buyer, they were putting extra expenses and less money because they knew that this guy was lying and all this stuff. Yeah. But they made it fun and funny. And it, and it actually made me look at how I prepare my my marketing differently. I mean, because I, it does, it's seen differently from a buyer That's and a so seller true. standpoint. So I make sure I point out that these are actuals or not actuals or whatever. And I just approach it differently. But I learned something from his, his video. It was a good educational video. And, and, and if nothing else, remember, both sides are going to look at the same information and analyze them differently. Mm -hmm. And they're going to get different answers from it. So... Yeah. You just have to understand that. If nothing else, I now understand that. So that's what marketing is, right? It's finding something that you like, tailoring it to you, and kind of selfishly stealing it from somebody else. I mean, that's what the best marketers do. So they find something they like, they tailor it to their business, and they kind of steal it. Um, and so I always encourage you guys get on podcasts. If you're a podcast listener, go on YouTube channels, search real estate, see what they're doing well. Why are they doing it well? Why are they the best in the business? And see see what you can implement and tailor to to you to make it more you and specific. So I think that's it. That's that's Thank the end you. of our session. Does anyone have any questions? No, I've no. got a lot of catching up and studying to I've do. Got I love calling to do. you. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Happy to. Yeah, thank you. Well, we're, we're going to stick around for a few more minutes, and I'm going to order lunch. So I haven't ordered yet. I but actually we got we got through a little quicker than I thought we would. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get Barry to order lunch. Can everybody here stay with us? Yeah, I'll lunch? get you by cord so I know about these. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys online have any questions? I don't see any more questions. Did we just order from no. Uh, the, the. No, program? but thank you very much. No, Brittany, thank you. Yes, no problem. You guys enjoy the rest of your uh, Thursday. Thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate Thanks. it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye, Michael. Can I put Erica, have some marketing director down here? Absolutely. She, she was on, yeah. yeah. And I'll send you guys all.